What's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today we're talking about one of the two movies that came out on Christmas Day, and today is the latest film from Pixar, it's Soul. <laughs> Man, was I waiting for this one. When they came out with Onward, I'm pretty sure I said, why, where's Soul? Because that was the movie that I really wanted to see. There was really only one reason I wanted to see this one so badly, because it was made by Peter Docter, who, if you didn't already know, also made Inside Out. One of the most overlooked Pixar films to date, my favorite Pixar film that I think is criminally ignored. It is deeper than I think anybody actually realizes because it's about depression, and not only depression, but adolescent depression, specifically in how it symbolically represents a child's view when it feels like the world around them is literally crumbling. People will watch Inside Out and say, oh yeah, you know, you know, joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and all of them are great and fun symbolic references to feelings, but what I'm so pulled into that movie is everything else that happens in that world. The more that I see it, the more I get out of it, and that's what I wanted out of Soul. Partially because the teaser to the movie looks somewhat similar to Inside Out. But the real question is, does Soul match up in my opinion? Will all the hobble de hoys of the world love it, or is it trash? Let's get cracking. This review was brought to you by the word of the day, hobble de hoy, a clumsy or awkward youth. Soul focuses on Joe Gardner, a middle-aged man that doesn't think he's accomplished much in life. When he gets the opportunity of a lifetime for the first time ever, he is overjoyed. But that's a short-lived feeling because soon afterwards, Joe is taken out of his body, and his soul wanders aimlessly trying to find a way back so he can fulfill that opportunity of a lifetime. But he also learns that we don't always know what we want along the way. This film is truly endearing, and there's so much about what this film is doing that I appreciated, but it doesn't even begin to touch what Inside Out did, and I'll touch on that in a second. But I first wanted to sort of list out what I liked about it. The premise or concept like Inside Out is at least in part abstract, and everything in that world is absolutely and unapologetically beautiful, and even makes you think about a few things. Like the whole lost souls bit. Souls that aren't truly there because down on Earth they're obsessed with things they shouldn't be obsessed with, like phones, video games, or I'm sure drugs, though the movie doesn't exactly talk about that. I also liked how there are enlightened souls, like hippies or those that meditate. Again, I loved the visual metaphors for these things that make us us. Also, there's a teacher-student dynamic going on in the movie that I thought worked extremely well. But like I said, it doesn't touch Inside Out. If you think this movie is complex or sophisticated, you're dead wrong. Inside Out was that. And that's why I loved it. Inside Out was also entirely abstract, meaning that everything that happens in the world of the feelings can be described as a metaphor or symbol. The characters of joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust never physically interact with the outside world. They can't, and because of that, they are wholly abstract, meaning you can write college papers on Inside Out and what all of those things are representing. Soul, on the other hand, is only abstract in the premise, but these souls can physically interact with the real world, meaning that they're not really visual metaphors or symbolic of anything else, but rather just other characters, which stops it from being a pliable idea that you can think about for hours and forces it to be a rigid, straightforward idea about a group of characters that interact like they normally would. It's a cartoon. Doesn't make it bad, per se, but basically what I wanted out of it, I didn't get. Thankfully, though, that's not really true for everybody else. I keep seeing something really interesting from other watches that they're getting the same feelings from this movie that I did from Inside Out and I can't really fault them for that. But at the heart of it, Soul is just not as deep as Inside Out. It has a couple of really great ideas, but it should have never been about trying to get back to the body. It should have been about exploring more ideas of the afterlife and what that means for the living. There is so much to explore there, but I didn't feel like it did. Also, and this is just a minor gripe from me, but I'm not the biggest fan of jazz music. I think it's fine. I like to watch jazz players play their instruments because I feel like that's really fascinating. But I don't like it as background music in a movie. That's partially why I don't really like old noir movies. And there's a lot of jazz music in this film since it's a huge part of the plot. I know. Much more of a weird bias that I personally have, and I'll admit that that's not really important to other people. But let's go ahead and break down my final score for a second. From an unbiased technical vantage point, this film is made extremely 
well. The visuals I felt like were bold and did things I've never seen from an animated film. A lot of that was gorgeous to look at, and of course the animation is top notch. As always, it is a Pixar film after all. This score is 84%, but as a personal bias score, that's where things don't always hit the right chord for me. I honestly didn't love the movie. It was fine. I appreciated certain things, but it's not exactly top tier Pixar for me. My bias score is actually 66%. When we average out the two scores together, we come to the final rating of 75%. 75 out of 100 possible stars, or a C letter grade. It's fine, but it could have been a lot more than it was. Tell me your thoughts and soul in the comments down below. Did you think that it was top tier Pixar? If so, why? Also, what do you think about Inside Out? And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out. Dave examines movies. We just watch for fun. Davey is the expert. He is the number one critic that I go to when I need a movie pick. Thanks for joining up with us.